A gorilla at a local zoo is inspiring children who are hard of hearing. That's because a test normally used on infants was used on Kumbuka at the Jacksonville Zoo to discover that she was deaf. Action News Jack's Caitlin Channa shows us how her journey is helping local children. A very special gorilla is uniting thousands of people together through her story. In a private session, Carson Garrett and including myself are going to have an up close personal tour with this wildlife animal. Who's ready? Come on. She's breathtaking to look at. As Kambuka just grazes on food, she doesn't even realize that her story is grabbing national news attention. I think she just saw you. Hi. Hi. At about 280 pounds, this gorilla shares a connection with these two young boys. She can still do a lot like a normal gorilla, so she can still fit in in some ways. For Carson and Garrett, they were diagnosed with a hearing loss at a young age. Together, we watched footage of doctors using cutting-edge technology to test whether 20-year-old Kabuka has a hearing loss. What they did on Kabuka, we had to put you to sleep, and they had to put the electrodes on you and measure your brain response to sound. Zookeepers tell me staff members started picking up on some behavioral signs. The best part, honestly, was was having an answer, knowing for sure that that she was she was deaf or she is deaf. We were able to sit in on a training session and see how they communicate with her. She is very trained to do things like put her hands out. Well, they're using different tools, kind of, that she recognizes. These boys have fallen in love with the gorilla who shares a similar story. Zookeepers have switched from using auditory cues to using positive reinforcements to help express when Kabuka is doing well. Reporting at Jacksonville Zoo and Gardens, Garrett Campbell, Carson Morris, and Caitlin Chiana, Action, Action News Jax. Jax.